As people get ready to return to the beach this summer, they may encounter a hidden danger. Rip currents are the reason for about 80% of lifeguard rescues every year. They can be deadly and hard to spot. But scientists at NOAA's National Ocean Service have a new way to keep people safe. They've developed a model to predict rip currents days before they form in ocean waters. Christina Ruffini traveled to Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, to talk to scientists and lifeguards who work together to create this life-saving tool. The biggest danger to swimmers at this North Carolina beach lurks just under its cold, foamy water. You won't see it unless you know what you're looking for, and it doesn't have fins or teeth. We estimate that rip currents lead to about 100 drownings per year across the U.S., and so they're the number one public safety risk at the beach. Greg Dusick is with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. He spends a lot of time studying waves and keeping up with current events. For people who don't know, what is a rip current? Rip currents are like rivers of water that flow from near the beach offshore, and they can occur anywhere you have breaking waves. Even in shallow water, they can be a serious hazard to both beachgoers and camera gear. Years ago, 64 people in an hour and a half pulled out of rip currents in a five-mile section in of beach. In one day? No, in a five-mile section of beach, just my town. David Elder runs the Ocean Rescue Squad in Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. The team ran us through a simulated rescue drill in a strong rip current that formed the day we visited. Get on the board. Just a few feet off this beach. The reason people don't understand rip currents is because they can't model what's going on out here. So you've explained it to me like three times, and I got to tell you, I still can't see the difference. We try to create the context through discussion first, and then by actually showing people physical rip currents to explain how it works. In this video, ocean safe green dye is used to show how fast the rip currents can pull unsuspecting swimmers out to sea. About 10 years ago, Elder and other lifeguard groups started sharing their on the job observations with Dusik. He combined their knowledge with cutting edge technology and came up with this. The world's first computer model that can predict rip currents, like a weather forecast up to six days in advance. What NOAA is trying to do is get people more information so that you're ready for what hazards to expect at the beach before you set your feet in the sand. No. And if you do find yourself being pulled away from shore, the key is not to panic. But it's easier said than done, even only standing in it up to my knees. How am I going to relax? There's big okay, right now, okay. <laughs> like even right now, I'm more relaxed than you, and it's just... And the thing is this, you can't fight Mother Nature, so don't try. I need you to relax and work with me and just feel it. Try to swim parallel to the shoreline or find a flotation device and always pick a beach with lifeguards. The ocean is an inherently unsafe environment. It is not here to kill you. It is here for you to pay attention to. That means paying attention to the waves and checking the rip current forecast before you hit the boardwalk. Talk to the lifeguard, ask him about today's beach, what's going on, what's happening in the water. That way everyone can walk away safe from their day at the beach. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Christina Ruffini, Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Have either of you been caught in riptides? No, I haven't. But I know people who have been impacted, their lives changed forever, and wow. families who've been changed forever by what's happened in rip currents, and they are a big deal and important to learn about. And one of the challenges is educating kids so they understand, mm -hmm. because you right. can't, it's, it's so difficult to see, and kids don't understand, like, if you're being swept out, like, right. what, what you're to supposed do. to do. Yeah, I think it's really amazing, though, this technology. You think of, like, shark warnings, you know, mm -hmm. sharks have been sighted in the water, jellyfish warnings, whatever those are, if there's a way to mark this, just to warn people who are going out in the water that day. Be helpful. Yep.